All right, straight ahead, we'll get to this lightweight bout between Charles Duprox Oliveira and Justin Gaethje. The most exciting man in mixed martial arts today. My fantasy football team is Team Gaethje. Justin Gaethje, since signing with the UFC a few years ago, has absolutely taken this promotion by storm. And he's only in main events. He's only in main events because you know, when you put Justin Gaethje at the top of the marquee, people will show up to watch in the arena, but they will also tune in on their television sets, on their computers, their laptops, on your PS4, or your Xbox, regardless of the console, people will show up to watch Justin Gaethje fight. All action fighter has great wrestling, but it's his boxing and his leg kicks that has truly made him special to fight fans all around the world. Well, this guy has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts with respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artists. This guy's closing the gap and, and entering that company in the eyes of men. Oh, absolutely, because done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting step one to step two before his opponent even realizes, now he's in on my leg. And if they do get their hip back, immediately he's up into a foot sweep or a headlock or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the UFC. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting! Out of the blue corner, this man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 23 wins, four losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Justin, the highlight, Gaethje. And now we'll produce his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 33 wins, eight losses, and one no contest. He stands five feet, 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Sao Paulo, Brazil, Charles Gobrox Oliveira! All right, commit to the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. On a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. Are you ready? Are you ready? Well, every time we walk into this here Madison Square Garden, I think I would always think of you too. Early round one, we'll see if he can use that jab and try to keep his opponent on the outside. Must be nice for these long fighters, huh? I mean, they are able to touch you as you try to enter into range. Tonight, he needs to use his jab, use his kicks to hit his opponent before his opponent can get into range and he'll start taking one strike. Good series of punches by him there. He has certainly had no trouble finding the range tonight. He is finding the target with everything he throws. He's mixing it up beautifully. He's, he's limping now. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Nice 
Nice knee to the body there by Oliver. He loaded up there on that high kick. Oh! So another swing and a miss, and I'd imagine if your gas tank is this low, you gotta find times to try to preserve that energy. Oh, that is as big a strike as he has landed thus far tonight. Big, massive shot lands. Look at how tough his opponent is, though. Still standing, still in their fight. Gaethje gets the tie clinch here. All right, single collar tie now. Oh, he eats a knee there. That does not taste good. Nice job staying busy here on the clinch. Left hand punch from the clinch. And there's a nice elbow from the clinch. Now he's got the Muay Thai block. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. Oh. The strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Just over 20 total strikes have already landed for Charles Oliver. Oh, a huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Head kick. Oh, huge block. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Huge strike lands there. Somehow, his opponent stayed up there. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up on much. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. Oh, he got it! He got it! Oh, and that is it. Referee has seen enough, and maybe so have we. Your winner by TKO. That was a great performance. Way to land those strikes and go and chase down the finish when you get an opportunity. Well, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched one. I mean, a competitive fight. That one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliana has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 52 seconds of the very first round. Playing the winner by knockout, Charles the Bronx Oliver! Well, there will be no shutting out.